New study finds that Greenland has more than 120 trillion tons of ice that can be thought of as zombie ice. That's right, zombie ice that is going to raise the sea level globally by at least 10 inches. This coming on the heels of data from the Nature Climate Change Journal that states 3.3% of Greenland's ice will melt regardless of carbon cutting actions. How much of a threat does this present to us? Joining me now to discuss it is Richard Alley. He is professor of geosciences at Penn State University. Professor, thanks in advance for your time. What exactly is zombie ice and why should we be worried about it? Yeah, so if, if you drop a, an ice cube in your glass of tea, it hasn't melted yet, but it's going to. And you could call that zombie ice. We have raised the temperature. It is now warm enough that parts of Greenland are like the ice cube in your glass of tea. It is going to melt. It just hasn't had time to melt yet. And so, so that is what it's being called zombie ice. And as they said, this is enough to, to make a real difference to the um, ocean level. But it's still only 3% of Greenland. There is enough ice in Greenland that if you melt it all, the ocean goes up 24 feet. Well, and let's stay no. with the let's stay with the unavoidable 10 inches before we talk about 24 feet, okay. please. Uh, but that 10 inches is still more than twice as much as sea level rise as scientists had previously expected, right? From the melting of Greenland's ice sheet. So, does this change at all the timeline for how globally nations should be dealing with climate change? It shifts it a little bit worse. So, you know, that the, we are warming the world. This is raising sea level, partly because the ocean water expands as it warms, partly because the ice in the mountains is melting and flowing into the ocean, and because the edges of Greenland are melting and flowing in the ocean and a little bit from Antarctica. What this does is say we're likely to get a little more from Greenland. We're likely to get a little more rise on the coast than we had been planning for. What's happening there already is challenging for people. And so this does not make it better. Now, a new report today confirms record high greenhouse gases, sea levels, ocean heat in 2021. And you say the committed melting and sea level rise is, as you described it very well, an ice cube put into a hot cup of tea. How do we cool down, if there's a way, our atmosphere? Yeah, so the, the the path is to quit releasing greenhouse gases, which are primarily carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels. So if we want to limit the warming, we want to keep the melting of Greenland to a few percent and not a lot of it, and a lot of the feet of sea level rise that are locked up in Greenland, we get off of releasing carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels to the atmosphere. All right, so it sounds like as far as you are concerned, it is a relatively simple solution, perhaps difficult to follow, but a simple and clear answer. Professor Ali, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.